Hey, it's Retro Gamer, and I'm back. This is uh, part three of the Mario Kart 64 gameplay. Um, we're still on Sherbet Land. Um, just trying to avoid these penguins in here and hit my power slides. About to get on the final lap of the race. Try to see if I can pull out a win here. Close call with that penguin right there. Not that complicated of a course here, besides the penguins and stuff like that, and watching out for whatever your opponents lay out. But pretty straightforward course. Looks like I gotta watch myself because I got some competition coming up on me real fast. Yes, nice. Bounce them off the wall and hit her. And I pull out a win. Yeah, I just started using that the wall technique with the um, with the shells. Uh, probably a year or two after I started playing the game, I just thought to myself, "What's a way that I can slow some of my opponents down?" Uh, you know, while they're behind me. So I just started doing that and got pretty good at it. Anyway, here we are on Royal Raceway. This course has the biggest jump in the game pretty nice course I like it nice turns uh, gotta be kind of careful here because you end up sliding off into the water or falling off the stage into the water the course is pretty wide so it's kind of easy to hit power slides and still stay on the course Got these boosters here. Uh, this was a pretty influential game. Of course, it became one of the uh, greatest hits for the Nintendo 64. Uh, as I said, it was replicated, at least to some degree, by uh, Rare in their Diddy Kong Racing game and uh, by the Crash Bandicoot series when they made their kart racing game. Probably have some others, but I'm not really too familiar with the other ones. Um, one thing to set this game apart is the fact that it's simple, yet it's fun, and the game, the, the replay value of the game is really good. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing, of course, was, you know, had a little bit more stuff going on, story-wise at least, and uh, how they integrated, you know, coin challenges and having to do a whole bunch of other. Uh, activities and uh, completion of tasks in the game if somebody knows how to keep uh, from bouncing when they hit that jump like on a on a constant you know basis would you please let me know because sometimes I've done a good job of not bouncing right there after I land but sometimes I do I'm, I'm not sure if it's me uh, being on the gas or brake or what but if you notice anything feel free to let me know I'm surprised I still haven't figured it out yet. I've been playing this game for a long time. But uh, of course, Mario Kart 64, you just use the carts. Uh, not like on Diddy Kong, where you can use carts, hovercraft, and airplanes. But this is good enough for me. It's, it's, it's more fun, in my opinion, than uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Great. This is a great party game, you know, if you got some friends coming over and stuff like that. At least if they want to play old school games. I have friends to this day that still talk about this game. You know, it's, it's a good game. But anyway, finished up on Royal Raceway in first place. On Star Cup, I try to make sure I win first place in every one. So... Worst comes to worst, if I mess up on Bowser's Castle and end up in like second, third, or fourth place, I don't have to really worry about anything. I can still win, win the series. But, you know, in my opinion, this is the, <clears throat> excuse me, hardest course in the game. Got these swamps, and, uh, you know, you got your opponents, of course. 
and the fact that you know you can slide off the course into the lava. You got these sliding swamps right here, and this bridge, which can be a pain in the butt sometimes. Not a big deal. Gotta be kind of careful here on this turn because a lot of the computer uh, opponents, they get items in there somewhere or before that turn where you make the jump and they'll put a banana or you know a fake item block or something in your path and if you spin out you're going to be messed up and it'll set you back a good five, six, if not all the way back in eighth place. Okay, kind of messed up right there. I don't know what's going on, but that's what a star is for. Got myself a good lead right here. Oh, crap, I almost ended up hitting myself. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, just be careful on that turn right there. And not to hit those, like steeple structure things. But yeah, you'll notice that uh, this course has its own music. No other course in the game has this music. This Bowser's Castle is pretty special. On uh, 100cc and 50cc that aren't as many thwomps on the course. So, that's basically the difficulty level. The, uh, the uh, engine size is basically the difficulty level on this game. But anyway. Almost spun out there. Gotta be kind of careful, especially on this last lap. But, I hit Peach. She's in third. I win first. So, I didn't end up messing up as I thought I would. Yeah, so, wrapped up the Star Cup and uh, we're about to move on to the Special Cup. Uh, Special Cup, you know, uh, Donkey Kong, Jungle Parkway, uh, Yoshi's Valley, Banshee, Banshee Boardwalk, and Rainbow Road. Uh, I know I said earlier that Bowser's Castle probably was the hardest course, but Banshee Boardwalk on 150cc is, is it can be a pain in the butt, um, especially if you're a lighter character. Some of the heavier characters will push you around in some of the turns, and you can end up uh, falling into the water. Banshee Boardwalk on 150cc doesn't have um, as many guardrails on some of the areas so you end up falling off in the water but we'll talk about that in a little bit just got the trophy got the little award ceremony with the sparkles and stuff coming out of the trophy I don't use Donkey Kong too much but I'm probably going to start he's a pretty good character But um, for every uh, every cup so far, I've used a different character, and I think I'm gonna use somebody different this time as well. Something told me, well, something is telling me to pick Donkey Kong again, but I'm gonna pick this guy here. His handling isn't that bad. Nice, top speed pretty good character uh, as far as character explanation goes Mario and Luigi are pretty much middle of the pack when it comes to um, uh, speed and handling uh, Toad and uh, Peach at the top of their class when it comes to uh, handling uh, they're pretty light so they're pretty fast too uh, the heavier guys well let me not forget Yoshi he's a uh, one of the lighter characters as well, but his handling is really good. His handling is actually a little bit too sharp in some cases, so I don't pick him too much. Uh, Donkey Kong, uh, 
Wario and Bowser, of course, uh, the heavier characters. Their handling isn't as great, at least Bowser's is, and his is terrible. But uh, he, he has decent top speed, and uh, he can run over everybody. He's the heaviest character in the game. It's, some, it's a little bit of a toss-up between uh, Donkey Kong and Wario, because I've been Wario before, and I've made Donkey Kong spin out by just hitting him. And sometimes I've been Donkey Kong and I made Wario spin out. But I think Wario is the second heaviest character. Anyway, this course, you can kind of make a little shortcut by cutting your jump up here, but you can end up hitting that river boat, falling in the water. Yoshi's back, not paying attention hitting a banana. It's uh, good to stay on the course here because I don't know what happens but you end up getting hit by these pineapple fruit looking things. So it's just best to stay on the course anyway because they slow you down and plus being off the track slows you down anyway. The bridge is pretty cool because you can put stuff on the bridge and spin everybody out. That's my little shortcut. Yoshi's moving pretty fast. Had to make sure I didn't spin out again. Somebody's been putting out a decent amount of bananas. Yeah, I think this is another course that has its own music that's not on any other course in the game. try to catch up to Yoshi. Oh my goodness. Well, looks like I won't be catching him. <clears throat> I'll try to get him next time. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Ah, dang it. So close. Anyway, second in bad. Second place you get six points, first place you get nine, third place you get three points, and fourth place you only get one point. You can only advance if you get one through fourth place wise. This course is pretty special because uh, you can't really see who's who uh, regarding other characters um, and their placing. On, only on this course so you kind of just gotta you know try to win and then you'll find out who's in what place after you uh, near the end of the course uh, as you can see Yoshi's Valley on 150cc got that big egg in a way of course that's there on 50 and 100cc but uh, you know it's kind of easy to fall off this course not a lot of guardrails a lot of soft times, narrow track in certain areas. But this is the fastest route through the course because there's like a good five, six different routes you can take total. Yeah, that's, that's my favorite one. You can end up hitting those porcupines, but uh, I do a good job of avoiding those for the most part. About to get on the final lap of this course. I think my video is going to split again pretty soon. But anyway, if it does cut off before this race concludes, the finish of this race will be in part four. I'd like to thank you for watching. Feel free to comment or subscribe. Check out my page for more retro and classic gaming on various uh, systems and a lot of games and I will see you in part four.